around here is since you know this isn't a an actual LCD screen that is interactive. What I did was um, I did I put a little egg shape here so that you could see what's happening on my LCD screen mm -hmm. on my egg. So as I go on with the um, interaction, you will be able to see what kind of interactive um, menus you would get on my egg. Mm -hmm. By click on any surface on the screen, then it would initiate this dialogue between um, you and this, um, well, the egg would initiate this dialogue between you and the wall. So um, it shows on the top, um, do you want to add a new item to this wall, or do you want to create like a connection between items? Do you want to zoom in and out of this whole interface, or do you want to move around the interface? So this is possibly, um, these are the possible um, actions that you can take. And um, if I say, if I hit the first one, which said add a new item, then it would say ABC. So it, is it a word or a phrase? Is it a um, is it a drawing? So that's a pencil there. Is it a picture? Is it a video? Is it a sound file? Or the the last one is actually texture. So I'm saying that if I rub this on a surface, then it'll remember that texture too. Um, so let's say I wanted to add a word. So it says, okay, start recording. So I'm saying that it, it, this wall interface um, can read your writing and you can draw on it too, but if you want to just type, you know, like record it, then you can say, um, uh, let's see, um, sacred space or something like that. Okay, so it, it saved sacred space on here. And what you would do is you would drag it around if I wanted to take pictures, and I um, one side of this in, this wall interface um, would turn into a camera, and the other side, the interactive part, would say um, have the record sign, take pictures or videos of that interface. So if I wanted to take a picture of my palm, um, take a picture of my palm. So If I wanted to, let's say, draw a chalice, then um, let's say I drew it. <laughs> and then I put it under sacred small objects. Let's say I did this for the next three hours, and I have a whole bunch of items. I have. Um, a lot more sound files. I have more text in here. I have a 3D model. I have um, PDF files, which is you know the future book. More PDFs, and then possibly like um, a system of um, like the memory of other projects as well. Um, this is kind of like the mock-up that I made before, so um, if that shape was actually the model of this, um, it's, a, it's a stupa, stupa, so like what if that was the shape of that, would, would I be able to zoom in and out of that model as if it was a real object? Um, and can you, can you alter stuff too, so that was one idea I had. What if I had different um, projects, or if I wanted to get help from the web, of course, then um, I would kind of like say, okay, I want to add something onto this wall. So I, I plug these items in here, and um, these are the items that the computer and the egg is telling me, hey, these might be interesting projects or sound files or interesting books um, that 
that you you may want to refer to, um, possibly if you have like contact numbers to people who really know a lot about this, um, this like, sacred object or stupas and stuff like that. So it's giving me um, help uh, uh, using the information that's on the next cloud. And um, I have here um, just just these. Uh, archive of my past projects that I could refer back to too. So if I thought that this um, sacred big object can relate to one of my projects from the past, then I would bring it out here and possibly I can make these mental connections between two items and um, say, hey, like I can bring some of the ideas in here too. Are um, they thought to be correlated? Huh? Are, they, are they thought to be correlated? Are the ones in um, you described the bottom might relate to some of the objects. That um, I think I'm assuming that, that I would do that in my mind uh -huh. since it's just a brainstorming wall. Okay. And um, I was talking to Justin, and we were seeing how like if the connections were already made, then that would actually limit your creativity. So if you just have the images and you're making the mental connection in your mind, that that would possibly nourish your project. So what if I wanted to um, change around the orientations then I'll just shake it. Sure.